Central Point announced this week it will no longer allow bounce houses and inflatable structures in its parks. NBC 5's Art Barron has tonight's top story at 6. Fun will look a little different in Central Point this year. Um, it's actually a decision that's been about two years in the making. The city is no longer allowing bounce houses or inflatable structures in its parks. While they're fun for kids, the city says they're a risk its insurance will no longer accept. Well, we've kind of eked by with waivers and liability signatures and, you know, the bounce house companies providing their own proof of insurance. But incidents like this one in 2016, when a strong wind picked up a bounce house with children inside, have the city thinking now is the best time to make the change. So I know last year there was a bounce house that blew away in the wind with some kids in it. And uh, then this year, this news story recently with the, the kids getting the ringworm and the fungus, it was just time for us to follow the insurance advice and just be done with it. While the ban is temporary for now, the city expects the Parks Commission to make it permanent later this summer. It's a move the owner of Jumpin' Jammers understands, but Don Holder says the way his business is run, a ban isn't necessary. If I'm renting a bounce house, you know, um, I want it to be in good shape, especially, you know, especially health-wise for these kids. While the city acknowledges local companies have been nothing but professional. We have not had any issues in the area um, specifically, and I think that's due to some of the good companies we do have around the valley. Leaders say it's a change that can't be avoided. Avoided. Art Barron, NBC5 News. The city does not have an ordinance against bounce houses. That means you can still have them in your backyard.